morning folks. This morning shaving cream is Mim Olive. This one here comes by the way of uh, Israel. And this uh, shaving cream, when it comes out of the tube, it comes out green. Just like the labeling there. And this is what it looks like on the other side of the tube. And this is not an easy one to find. Uh, talk a lot about it a little bit more here in a moment here. Got the island block. No rubber band this morning. Got uh, Sterling's uh, methylated witch hazel. Black ice is the scent on this uh, witch hazel. I'm going to be following up with uh, British Sterling uh, aftershave. And if you ever try to take a picture of uh, British Sterling, it's uh, with that chrome top, it is uh, a lot of fun trying to get it to come out right. <laughs> and uh, much with beer uh, butter after after the video is done and over with. That's what I'll use off camera. Uh, the shaver of the day is the, this will be the seventh shave on this blade. This is uh, Feather Artist Club SS Camisori style. And the blade in there is a Feather Super. And like I said, this will be the seventh shave on this blade. I've got the uh, shaving cream whipped up here in a vanilla bowl. Yep, and it does whip up green. And got it whipped up. Oh, got some shaving cream there. Never ready brush. That was really worked by uh, Strike Gold Shave. Frank there did a pretty good job on this one here. Had this brush for a while. It's one of the first ones he did. I already put a hot towel to the face this morning. And I'll go ahead and get started with the uh, methylated, unscented pre shave soap from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This one here, his name is Ice. I guess you might see the other version of this one here that uh, uh, doesn't have uh, menthol in it. It's uh, it just got the big word unscented going across. And, but um, more about this uh, shaving cream here. Shaved with it yesterday. Matter of fact, this is the same setup I had yesterday. And kind of realized that I don't remember a recent history doing a video with the shaving cream as well as the fact that uh, it was green. Thought maybe it might be a good one to shave with <laughs> again. <laughs> green being the color. Anyway, the uh, shaving cream. Uh, I'll put a link down below where I normally would find it, but they are out of stock. Look on Amazon. Amazon doesn't have any either. And when I did look on eBay, don't think there's a whole lot left, but anyhow, uh, whoever was selling it on eBay wanted like $48. The shipping was free, but it's $48, at least that's the way I remember it. Anyway. Uh, right now it's a difficult one to find. The um, I've had a hard time placing this scent. I wouldn't it might have a citrus scent to it. I don't think so but it might. I'm having a hard time placing which one it is. At any rate, this is pretty good stuff. I enjoy shaving with it. It's one of those uh, shaving creams that for some folks the fact that it's got olive oil in it you wouldn't think that it lather up like you'd like for it to I don't have any problems with it this one whipped up the way that I like it which is going to be on the wet side since I'm shaving with a uh, shave bed I definitely want to make sure that I got the slickness I'm looking for so I don't whip it up Thick, in other words, on the on the dry side, but as opposed to on the wet side. And I have been practicing using uh, my left hand, which has been quite a challenge. More mentally, I think, than physically. We'll find out for sure today. Now that it's on video, I um, depending on how a person looks at it, right hand, right hand side of the face, left hand, left hand side of the face. I've been doing it. The exact opposite. Right hand, left hand side of the face, left hand, right side of the face. It seems to be pretty natural using a Camisori style shaver. And one of these days I'll start with the folder and see how that goes. But right now I'm just doing um, my left hand on the right side of the face with the green pass, and that's all I'm doing so far with the left hand. And it's been going pretty decent.
That same hot towel that I used earlier is over here on the side. That is one thing I like about using a, a shave bed or even a straight razor as far as that goes. I'm able to wipe the uh, shaving cream off on the side there and uh, keep my sink a little bit cleaner so it's easier to rinse with. This has been quite a bit of fun. It's the uh, challenge of the uh, of the mind more than it was physical for me. I keep on wanting to use the right hand since I'm so used to doing the work. That's been a big challenge for me. It's been more mental than physically. Physically, uh, the control has been pretty decent. Uh, no different than you know, first starting out. For me, one of the reasons why it seems to be natural to use the left hand over there is because I have a tendency to use the heel to outline the, the facial hair. So for me, that that seems natural. It also seems natural that a that I wiped off the shaving cream to go back to the right hand. <laughs> I can tell the difference with the uh, with the this being the seventh shave on the blade. Five shades are pretty smooth with this uh, with this blade. I get five pretty easy. Anything after that, it starts to get to be uh, a, a bit noticeable. Uh, for me, it's a more along the lines of trying to be careful with uh, uh, on the Instagram pass because on the Instagram pass, uh, you can feel the tugginess of it. I mean, it's not a bad shade by any means, but it's uh, it's not as smooth as the first five. In other words. And I have a tendency to usually end at five, five shades on a blade. I'll go ahead and retire and go on to the next blade or whatever the case might be, the next shaver. But it's a, I guess you might say a preference for the individual. Your, your mileage may vary. Been, uh, been looking, um, what had happened is I have, uh, I have a, um, uh, single edge that I've had for a while and have never shaved with it and it's a uh, one that uh, auto strop in other words single edge I have more than one just never shaved with it and uh, one of these days here pretty soon I think I will give it a try I am assuming that it's not the easiest to find the angle with. And I was uh, <clears throat> reading up a little bit on the uh, gym microbiotics, trying to give the time frame, make sure I had it straight in my head. And I uh, thought it was interesting. For me, yeah, it's interesting that uh, the number of people that haven't quite shaved with one of those that's given them a try. And um, that was, those shavers were one of the first ones I got early on on the single edge shot side of things. Thinking that being twist open, that that might be appealing to some folks that are coming from the DE side of things. Yeah, I can tell on the screen pass this is a 
they seen the three shoes. Like I said, this has been kind of fun. It's a challenge to uh, something you're not used to doing, doing it with the other hand. Never been in a position where I had, where I couldn't use the right hand. So for me, it's, uh, it's always been there, been available. But now that I'm practicing with the left hand and eventually we'll do the against the green pass with the left hand, I think in time I'll get very much used to it. And if uh, some reason I use, lose the use of the right hand, might be able to do it with the left. Be just as proficient, I guess you might say. Well, at least that's the idea. It's been, like I say, mentally it's been a challenge. Physically, I think it's going along pretty well. A little shorter strokes on the against the green. I say it's um, it's seen better days. Using the right hand, I'm, I'm so used to that. It's, it's easy for me to do. <laughs> right handed like that. Like I say, eventually the left hand will be doing the same thing. I kind of see it. This is a. Uh, don't know. Well, uh, yesterday shaved the Allen block wasn't real bad. And it's not because of shaving with the left hand as opposed to just the, the blade's tired. I can still get some more shaves out of it, but the Allen block's gonna let me know it's not the smoothest shave. I mean, I don't, as far as I can tell, I don't have any nicks, cuts, or weavers, or anything like that. In other words, it overall, when you look at it that way, it's you know still an all right shave. It's fine, but I know that the Allen block is gonna have something to say because that blade is uh is getting tired. In the past, I've worked up to ten shaves, but like I said, that. That Allen block has definitely let me know that uh, it's time for a new one. A new blade that is, not a new Allen block. Even though it is getting smaller, I've had this thing since, well, ever since I started using an Allen block. So it's, uh, which means sometime in 2016, I may have to hunt it down one day just for, just to find out. In other words, it's kind of like the, the commercial if you're old enough to know about how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> how many days can you use an Allen block before you finally use it all up? Or drop it. <laughs> Been pretty fortunate so far. I haven't dropped it. There's one other thing I've kind of noticed also when it comes to blades when they're reaching the end of the, uh, I guess you might say their life expectancy. And like I say, it depends on you, your beard type, and what you're uh, able to tolerate in the way of a shave. Like I said, I don't have any next cuts or weepers or anything like that. But uh, for me, every once in a while, it seems like, especially along my neck area, it seems to get a, a little bit redder uh, with, the, uh, with the blade that's been used for a while. For me, that's also an indication that it needs to go. This will calm down after the shave, but right now it's uh, looking a little angry. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't. Matter of fact, it's not even stinging there. It's stinging up here on my cheek. Both of them, as far as that goes. 
but in other words, it's it's more of a wholesale. It's not just an isolated one, just a little spot. It's just like that whole area through there is stinging. So I said for me, that's a pretty good indication that I need to go ahead and swap out the blade if I'm looking for smooth and comfortable. No nicks, cuts, weepers. But when you use the Allen block, it's telling me something different. It's the reason why I decided that's probably on my fifth shade with this kind of blade. That's probably about as far as I really should be pushing it. Going past that, uh, I still, like I say, no nicks, cuts, we, <coughs> excuse me, weepers or anything like that. But that Allen block, it's telling me something. <laughs> it's that that shave is not as going as smooth as it appears. <coughs> excuse me. Still got that, whatever that is. It's going around at work, whatever this is, this upper respiratory issue, we'll say. And it's a good thing this has got a menthol in it. It does a great job of, uh, I guess you might say, calming things down. That nice cooling effect. You can kind of tell right through there. But to me, it just, it's been a little bit more irritated or red than what it normally is. But I can feel it. I'm going to work. If you're familiar with the uh, Feather Artist Club, there's two different versions of this. <clears throat> I say in the way of Camasori style, I should say. In that this one here has, I guess you might say, a groove right through here. How it's kind of beveled just a bit. And it's round right there where the blade is at. This one here is the SS style. The other one's, is, I think it's a DX style. Handles a little bit different in shape. It's also a bit more expensive too. It's made out of different material from what I understand. At any rate, um, that one there, uh, because of the way this portion here is shaped between the two, they're different and they shave just slightly different. For somebody starting out, this one seems to be the one that people prefer because the way this is rounded right here at the blade, it seems to make a world of difference on how the shave feel is with this one versus the DX version. That's the reason why you might see more of these than the DX, besides the fact that the DX is somewhat more expensive. Usually you find these uh, you know, on the internet, depending on where you go, what time of the season, all that sort of thing, but usually right around the $60 mark. One point in time, when I first started looking at them, they were $130. I remember those days, it's like, I'm not paying $130 for one. But this one here, I got on, on sale, if you will, at the right time of the year for $60. As a matter of fact, I picked it up on Amazon. And uh, I guess you might say, I haven't looked back. I really like this shaver. It's easy for me to maneuver it around my face to hold. The handle doesn't get in the way. In other words, like a folder, sometimes might. But uh, it's a, it's my favorite shaver as it goes for uh, shave vets. Um, matter of fact, shave vets as it goes for the length of the blade, no bigger than the area that I have to shave. Works well for me. And if you have ever used British Sterling, it comes out green also. I would show you, but it'd pour, I'll pour straight out of my hand. But anyway, it's a, boy, it's a, it comes right out. Just like the container shows it, it comes out green. Green shaving cream, green aftershave. Kind of see where I was going with all this. But anyway, I didn't think I had done one. I know I've shaved with it before, but I didn't know if I did this on video or not. And this shaving cream here is pretty nice shaving cream. The, the post shave feel is, my face feels, as it goes for moisturized and smooth, soft. Uh, it feels great. I, this is one of my um, one of my favorites, when it, especially when it comes to shaving creams. This one here, um, like I see, it is difficult to find. When I got mine, I think I paid eighteen dollars for this one, including shipping. Like I say, it had to be that time of the year. It was, uh, I'd waited a while before I ordered this one. I'll put a link down below, but you're going to see that it's uh, uh, it's out of stock. And uh, I've had this, I'm wanting to say over a year, probably going into two years now. Probably two years, yeah, going into two years, the way I remember it. I've had it for a moment, but it's pretty good shaving cream. 
and I almost decided not to shave with it because of the fact that it seems like I'm teasing everybody because once you get interested in this you want to hunt it down but finding it right now is really tough so I'm still assuming that the company is uh, still uh, still out and alive and still making this but finding it right now is really difficult I had a really good shave this morning I mean uh, no next cuts left hand is doing great <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this one here. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shades to you.